The concept of the connected vehicle really was born out of the necessity for public safety workers to have information on site as they were out in the field doing work and answering calls. And it really first started many decades ago with radio in the vehicles. As technology evolved, they needed full functioning computers in their vehicles. The amount of data increased, speeds needed to increase, and applications were more robust and rich. That added the necessity to start using cellular technologies. And cellular technologies really expanded the capabilities that we have with a connected vehicle. We have so many more pieces over the last even 10 years that we've been able to install into vehicles that really enrich the experience for whoever that field worker is. With this new system, we're able to generate our own calls. Now we don't have to go through dispatch every time, so we can do the rapid call. We can do anything on it, and you can create your own traffic stops on this. But typically, for our own safety, we do call out everything on the radio still. I'll give you an example. I'll call out that I'm at a department service. 6560. 6560, your traffic? Yeah, 10-4. If you could please put me out of department service at CDW. 10-4. All right, so now my dispatcher will send me the call on this screen. It even speaks to me. It says dispatch received. Now everything that I said on the radio uh, for a department service is now on this screen. And then I can clear the call anytime I want. We don't have to go through dispatch every time. We can go on our own laptops and we can create our own calls. This makes uh, everything a lot faster. This is essentially an enterprise grade router crammed into a ruggedized housing to protect the components inside and provide that connectivity in the vehicle. A lot of times when you do in-vehicle connectivity, you're dealing with a steel and glass box. You can get a lot of signal reflection. So this is an external antenna, one of many that's available. It optimizes the LTE signal coming in to the router to provide a better experience to the user inside the vehicle. This particular one also provides Wi-Fi outside the vehicle as well. So in the cases of uh, food trucks, or even if you're going to set up a temporary command center for a police department, they might want the Wi-Fi to be more pervasive outside the vehicle than in for people who are out in the field, and this is gonna provide that. With the Cradle Point IBR 900, you'll notice there is a door and some LED lights and some brass terminals on either side, as well as some standard ethernet ports. These are our two standard Wi-Fi antenna leads. You have a wireless uh, WAN connection, this is a connection to your ISP, and then a LAN connection if you're gonna hardwire a laptop or something of that nature straight into the device. We also have an interface here. It's covered for integration uh, and tying into the OBD2 port of a vehicle to be able to take information vi for vehicle diagnostics and pass it through. On the other side, we have three terminals. Two are for the LTE itself from one of those LTE cellular carriers, and the other one is a GPS. So this device is spitting out real-time GPS data that can be made heads or tails of with a third-party AVL solution. From a fleet or field management standpoint, we're able to really get a good understanding of what's happening inside that vehicle. So the ability to understand performance data or understand specifically what's going on from a worker standpoint inside that vehicle, let's say driver safety or driver awareness and that behavioral aspect of it, it really allows us to get uh, there in that cab with that driver. Uh, businesses can take that information and use it to do different things, specifically uh, think about rod optimization, getting to resources or getting to your customers faster. How do you specifically do that? This data allows them to be uh, able to make those route changes rapidly. And then the predictive maintenance or proactive approach to maintenance is really huge for these vehicles. Keeping them running optimal, keeping them out in the field so they're not in the garages allows those fleets to optimize. CDW is going to bring together a team of solution experts to work on your IoT pieces, to work on your cellular connectivity, your services that might be needed, mobile application development, everything you need to pull together a connected vehicle solution specific to your industry and your needs. And from there, we'll make sure that you have just-in-time delivery, carrier activation, back-end integrations, and make sure that everything is on-site for your installation. I think where CDW stands um, head and shoulders above the rest is that we're able to come in and really understand from a business requirement standpoint what are you really trying to accomplish and help you match the technologies with the actual requirements and deliver that technology. <laughs>